Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's question is Ecoli cells contain 5 different DNA polymerases 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 which of these enzymes catalyze the semi-conservative replication of the bacterial chromosome during cell division what are the functions of the other 4 DNA polymerases in E. coli so first of all let me show you replication bubble so this is one strand of the double-stranded DNA and here is another strand and we see here replication bubble and here is going to be initial primer on one strand here is going to be initial primer on the other strand uh, which would be the isols for a new DNA strand to be uh, built uh, which would be a complementary strand uh, to uh, each strands, original strands of the DNA. So, for example, let's say that orientation of this strand would be 5' prime end and 3' prime end. That means that corresponding strand of the DNA would have 5' prime end here and 3' prime end here. That means that we would have in this primer 3 prime end here and 5 prime end here and new strand of the DNA always grows from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and we would see continuous growth here so again this is going to be uh, 3 prime end so it would grow from this 5 prime end to this 3 prime end. What about uh, this DNA here, new strand of the DNA? So if we have uh, here 3 prime end, that means that here we are going to have 5 prime end. So orientation would be 5 prime end, 3 prime end. And new strand of the DNA would grow continuously from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and would have 3 prime end here and what about this space here because this replication bubble would uh, grow so what would happen with this space here let me show you and with space here uh, DNA also would grow here but in order to grow DNA because it only can grow from 5 prime end to 3 prime end new uh, primers would be added here again new primers would have 5 prime end and 3 prime end and new strength would grow in this direction discontinuously so with small fragments uh, in this uh, direction so would on the overall grow in this direction but uh, with small fragments which would grow still from 5 prime end to 3 prime end and the same picture we would see here so uh, RNA primers would be added by the way this is not DNA this is RNA primers and would have 5 prime end here 3 prime end here and new DNA strand would grow here and uh, again new primer would be added and would grow in small fragments from 5 prime end to 3 prime end on the overall growth is going to be in this direction do not confuse uh, where uh, uh, ends are for example 5 prime end here and you might think that uh, this strand of the DNA grows from 5 to 5 but uh, this is not so take the beginning of the primer for example in this case and the end of the strand so 5 prime end, 3 prime end this is general uh, direction of, of the growth of the new uh, strand of the DNA the same uh, true is here 5 prime end and 3 prime end here so it grows in this direction so basically we have growth in both directions 
this is how replication happen. The only one DNA polymerase true DNA polymerase would be DNA polymerase 3. That uh, would extend each new strand of the DNA. And as for the uh, other uh, polymerases, uh, DNA polymerase 1 is another uh, important polymerase here, uh, which is going to change this RNA primers with DNA. So would remove this RNA and would replace them with DNA. And as for the uh, polymerase 2, 4 and 5, this um, polymerases are important in repairment of the DNA. During replication uh, mistakes do happen and uh, these three DNA polymerases remove those mistakes, uh, remove bases, wrong bases and replace them with correct bases. So our answer would be the true replicase uh, polymerase would be uh, DNA polymerase 3. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.